I want to talk about ChatGPT. We've all heard of it, and if you've ever tried it, it is incredible. I was talking to one of my daughters who's at university, and they've been told if they're seen to have used it or found to have used it in any way, they'll be disqualified and they won't get a degree and they'll be kicked out of university. Now, when I was a kid, the same thing happened with calculators. We were told we couldn't use calculators. But eventually, and, and if we did in an exam, the same thing would happen. We'd be disqualified and kicked out. But eventually they got comfortable because actually they realized you needed to know how to use the calculator and the way that the equation would work. And actually it was the understanding to get to the solution of a problem rather than the functionality of the calculator. Similarly, Einstein was once asked uh, why he couldn't remember his phone number. And he said, why would I clog my brain up with that when I know I can look in the phone book and find it. So equally with ChatGPT, if that's a better, quicker, uh, simpler way to get information for children or anybody so they can learn that information, to find source research, to find ideas for a writer to break that writer's block and get them moving again, and then they can improve on it, top and tail it, but use it as a tool. If a tool makes a master craftsman better, and you can get a better tool to help that master craftsman, why wouldn't you do it? I'll tell you why I think it's protectionism. I think they're terrified that they won't be as necessary. But you know what? If you don't move with the times, if you don't move with the tools, if you don't move with the technology, if you don't move with the changing needs of tomorrow's students, you become irrelevant anyway. And what they need to do is find better ways to help children use those systems, those tools. You know, if we look at tools, how they've changed carpentry, bricklaying, uh, any trade, any skill, we should recognize it's a tool, it's not the end result. Our children, why do they need every bit of knowledge in their brain? Why can't they just know which tools to use, learn how to use those tools? Because if I look at an incredible cabinet, it's not the, the, the tool that made the cabinet, it's the master craftsman that knew how to use that tool. I say to educators, to, to universities, to people who are worried about this and trying to block progress, accept it, learn to use it, learn to change and adapt for the optimization that can bring and the improvements that it can bring to our world, our children, their futures, our futures.